Next, second thing, rhythm. After we've gone through the whole piece playing it with every single note ringing with wonderful healthy sound, wonderful healthy hand structure, functional, no compression, elastic. Then, rhythmic differentiation. The first rhythmic differentiation is every second note. Banka, tika, taka, tika. So I'm doing this rhythmic differentiation and he's telling me, I should really do this at the piano, but I'll introduce the idea to you now. The differentiations are not enough. And then four, ba ti ti ti, ba ti ti. And he has me playing the rhythm note fortissimo and the other notes pianissimo. So, of course, if you're schooled with the normal kind of weight technique, then you're going to slam the crap out of that loud note and then collapse your hand and compress everything. And it's going to be really ugly and it's going to feel unpleasant. This is not what we're talking about at all. We're talking about a vigorous motion into the key that stands you up. Bam! And you're instantly in a state of unstable equilibrium. So we're taking unstable equilibrium and we're putting it into real life. And you'll, you'll, you'll realize, if you try this, you'll realize that you don't know how to do it. Really. Wham! And stand up into unstable equilibrium. Three pianissimo notes. Bam! Three pianissimo notes. Bam! Three pianissimo notes. Wham! Like this. But the wham is weightless. It's full of energy and it's weightless. It's all up. It's all up. And you don't feel like you're pressing the key down at all. You feel like you're standing up. Just as I'm standing up on my finger. On my hand. Listen. I'm not pushing my hand down. I'm standing up on my hand. So it's maybe actually good that you do this away from the piano. To get clear, there's no pressing down. Elsewhere I talk about manipulating the key. That's also not pressing the key down. It's manipulating it. I can manipulate it this way or this way. It's not down and up. It's just manipulating it. And it's getting inside the key. It's getting inside that three-dimensional object and occupying the space that that three-dimensional object had occupied and then I simply stand up on the key bed. Okay, now the key moves. But because all I'm doing is standing up with amazing energy and coming instantly, instantaneously to unstable equilibrium, there's no compression and there's no ugliness in the sound. The sound is amazingly ringing. And it puts you into a state where you can just like the Tai Chi empty step, manipulate the three soft notes without falling into them. You maintain that standing state through the three next note and then stand again. Three notes just touching, stand again, three notes. 